What's going on guys, here we are another week at the Home Theater Hobbyist and this week we have a review of the latest streaming service from AT&T called Watch TV. Let's get to it. Over the past few years, cord cutting has become a pretty big thing and everybody wants to be able to watch live TV but not pay the high cable slash satellite prices. So a lot of different services have started streaming media over the internet. And those services include Hulu, DirecTV Now, PlayStation View, Sling TV, and many others. I reviewed a few and you can check out the links to those videos in the description above. Now today I'm actually reviewing a new intro into that as from AT&T, it's called Watch TV. AT&T Watch TV. Now, honestly, when I first heard about this, I, it really didn't make any sense, mainly because AT&T actually owns DirecTV and they actually have DirecTV now, which is another streaming media service. So I'm not really sure what AT&T's play here is, but they do offer it and it's actually at a good price. So let's talk about it. Watch TV starts at $15 a month and it gives you access to 30 plus live channels, including BBC America, CNN, The Food Network, HGTV, The History Channel, TNT, and more. One omission is the lack of sports content, but that may change in the future. Currently, they're only allowing a single stream and it's not available outside the US. You can download their app on iOS, Android, Apple TV, Chrome, and Amazon Fire TV. If you have an AT&T Unlimited and more plan, you already have access to this great service. Now let's talk about my experience and we'll start with sign up. Sign up was actually really, really easy. I went onto the website, I created an account or you can sign in if you already have an account and I input my credit card number and I started the seven day free trial. From there, I loaded the app onto my Fire TV and it downloaded and the app started right away. From there, the first thing I noticed was the user interface, which was actually really, really good. I was able to just use my left, right, up, down buttons on the remote and find all the things I needed to find, all the channels that they had to offer. And so I would say that the user interface is actually pretty, pretty intuitive. Now let's move on to streaming quality. Streaming quality was actually really, really good. While I was watching TV, I was actually streaming some YouTube videos on my tablet that was sitting nearby just to kind of stress out the network a little bit because I was running wirelessly and I didn't have any issues whatsoever. The quality never dipped or anything like that. So I think the streaming quality on this one is actually pretty good. Moving on to picture quality. Picture quality was also very, very good. The stream was at least 720p, if not 1080p at all times for me. Audio quality was also really, really good. I didn't have any issues with the audio and video being out of sync or lip sync issues. Everything sounds really, really good. Mainly two channel, but sounds really good. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of this service. The first pro I have to mention is the price. At $15 a month, I have not seen any other live TV streaming media service that offers that kind of price for live TV. So you gotta give it to AT&T. They are coming out the gate swinging. The next part I want to mention is the fact that this service does have DVR functionality. You can pause and play live TV. Certain shows allow you to fast forward and rewind depending on where you are, but you can do that. Right now it doesn't have the ability to record shows, but you can at least pause in the middle and run to the restroom and go get a snack or something like that. So that's a definite plus. The main con that I see for this service right now, and this might be a limitation due to the service just starting, is the fact that it only allows you a single stream at any one time. So everybody in your household has to be watching the same content or you get nothing. So that's a little bit of a limitation and if they up the price a little bit to give you at least, let's say three streams, I think that would be a much better service. But at $15 a month, a single stream, I can't really complain. But that's the only con I really see. Overall, I think this is a really, really good service. At 15 bucks a month, the quality is really good, guys. And I, I don't really see anybody doing anything better. Single stream is a little bit of a downside, but if it has a channel you watch and you can deal with a single stream, this is definitely the package to get. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Consider supporting us at patreon.com slash home theater hobby or using the Amazon affiliate link below. We'll talk to you next time.